You just lit another fire under my ass. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Nick Walker losing the Arnold Classic title to Samson Dada could be a beneficial thing for him in the long run. The reason is that Nick is more motivated than ever to redeem himself at the Olympia this year. Yes, I know his confidence was a bit shaky right after that loss, but now that the things have settled down, Nick Walker and his coach Matt Jensen have reflected on things, and they 100% believe that if they are able to bring that same conditioning as this year's Arnold, combined with the fullness that he had at the Olympia, that is an undeniable package. Nick Walker spoke about it in detail in the HD Muscle Podcast with Antoine and Quinton. And my goal for the Olympia is to have that same conditioning as the Arnold, if not a little more crispier, and try and match the fullness of the Olympia. And if I'm able to accomplish that, I don't. no one can beat me. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone can beat me. And he quoted examples like Jay Cutler in 2009. Because Nick is kind of in the same spot as Jay Cutler was after his loss to Dexter Jackson in 2008. And people said that he is done. So if we look at the current perspective, with all the tall and aesthetic guys like Samson, Andrew coming into their own. So many legends of the sport have touched on the subject. That Nick Walker's fate isn't in his own hands because there isn't much he can do about his shape and structure. His competition, however, can bring better condition and it is game over for Nick. The mutant, on the other hand, feels that this is yet another opportunity for him to shock the bodybuilding world just the way he did in 2021 when he won his first Arnold Classic title against all the odds we're gonna bring something i think is gonna be another like oh fuck he just shocked everyone again i have shocked every show i've done so i'm not gonna stop now yeah. so whether you are a fan of nick or not you have got to admire his self-belief and the ability to come back better than ever so do you guys see nick in the top three at this upcoming mr olympia i just feel like the Olympia will be mine. So That is not what we call a bulk, but it is bulking in Orsa's dictionary. He has stayed shredded for way too long because if you guys remember, Ors had striated glues months out of the past Mr. Olympia in 2022. And he did not take any time off whatsoever and began his Arnold Classic prep, where he placed second, losing to Ramon. So Ramon has clearly demonstrated his domination over Ors in the last two competitions. And for Ors to have a shot at beating Ramon, he needs to utilize those extra 5 pounds. And to be honest, that is the only upper hand Ors seems to have over Ramon right now. He can put on more muscle, while Ramon cannot. Surprised to see people suggesting that Ors should do the 212. He is almost the same height as Chris Bumstead. And Seabum's weight cap for Classic is 240 pounds. Point being, Urs is way too tall for the 212. And there is no way he can make that weight cut off. The only option he has other than Classic is the open bodybuilding. So let the man stay in Classic and chase that Mr. Olympia title. A Kim Williams isn't just gonna sit around and wait for his doctors to give him a green light so that he can start his training. The beast will utilize this time to focus on the quartz development. As you guys can see, he is already back in the gym, getting some work done in the best possible way. I hope he recovers from his shoulder surgery 100%. Because if we look at it, Akeem did one hell of a job doing two of the biggest shows in a matter of few months that too with a lingering injury so if akim is able to train at his 100 percent we can expect better outcome from him in the future 
It seems unlikely that Akim will crack top 6 at the Olympia again. But he might get some fair comparisons if he brings back that 2020 lock. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.